Hello, everyone. I'm Velveeta Van Watt. And I'm Mark Wetter. And I'm Melinda Tremalio. Welcome to this edition of Lifestyle Updates. We're coming to you from Valentine's on Ventura Boulevard. What our show is all about is information and fun. You'll meet the people who live our lifestyle. And we're going to make sure you feel real good about being yourself, baby. And being part of society. After all, you're, you're not, not alone! alone. Tonight I'm lucky enough to have with me two wonderful co-hosts, Velveeta and Mark. Oh, thank you, Melinda. I'm so excited to be here. This is the bestest place I've ever seen. Mark, how did all this come about? Well, it was sort of a childhood fantasy. Now I've made it a reality. Yeah, and I'm as real as they come, baby. <laughs> you better tell everyone about tonight's show. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Let's tell everybody about tonight's show. Tonight, our cover story is a very special visit with Orest Pucciani. He and the world's famous fashion designer, the late Rudy Gernrich, were together for over 30 years. Rudy would, want, would have wanted me to do this. He would have wanted this interview to take place. Then we're gonna meet one of my all-time favorites, good-looking Al Parker. I'm gonna show him how to make movies. I'm Al Parker, and uh, I'm gonna show you how we make movies. Our Shape Up for Summer series continues with how to pump up those powerful arms. We'll take you backstage and visit with the cast of a unique docudrama called AIDS Us. We'll take you bowling to strike out for AIDS. And we'll visit the 19th Annual Maggie Awards presentation. Also, Dr. Robert Brooks will be here with new medical information on AIDS. Any of you who lived through the 1960s remembers wonderful fashions like these. Bold, exciting, and lots of fun. And all of these fashions were designed by the late great fashion designer, Rudy Gernrich. From the designer of the topless bathing suit to the cover of Time magazine, Mr. Gernrich was one of America's most original and famous designers. His career exploded in the 1960s the decade that brought him international fame as one of the world's most inventive fashion creators. Rudy made a permanent impact on the life of this country and the American fashion design industry. It was through his vision, through his determination to establish social commentary in his designs that permitted him to literally change the face of the design industry around the world. But a certain intu intuition about Rudy. Plato used to say at one time that it would be wonderful if philosophers were kings and kings were philosophers, because then we would have a world where the elite of mind would govern. Rudy was the elite of mine, but he was a philosopher. He was a philosopher, he was a king in what he did. He was the philosopher in what he did. Rudy was born in 1922 in Austria and immigrated to the United States in 1938. At the age of 21, in 1943, he became an American citizen. He was a young dancer who dreamed of someday designing